Yeah, we are live now. So thank you, thank you for joining joining the circle, the circle in which we all belong, the spirals that that have no beginning and no end, the the eternal us, and in the circle of time, the circle of day and night, the darkest time of of the night is just before the crack of dawn just before the first rays of the sun appear on the horizon. And, and those rays, they light up our faces in a magical early morning glow. And as I woke up this morning, which was for me many hours ago, I saw within my, my one eye lights lighting up and sparkling all around the globe. And those lights were us. I saw lights lighting up in, in New Zealand, in Australia, in Japan, in Korea, in India, Dubai, Russia. Uh, I saw them in Orenburg, Moscow, St. Petersburg, and I think also in Novosibirsk. I saw lights lighting up in Scandinavia and the Netherlands, in Portugal, in the UK, Italy, France, Spain. I saw, and then I, I saw them spark up in the USA, in different states, many states, and, and of course in Canada. And I was thinking we need more, more of those sparks of light in, in South America and in Africa. And somehow this morning I could feel each light as it lit up. I could feel it resonate within my bones. And these lights, as they lit up, they began to, to glow together in joy. Almost like a, like a fine meshed grid spreading across the earth. Almost like a, a peaceful, comforting blanket around the earth. And it all started slowly, a light here, a light there. And then it became so quick, I could hardly follow it. And the energy for me has been very intense all day long. And, and I thought when we plant a seed like we've done, like we're doing now, we have absolute faith that out of this seed, uh, a fruit will be born. We don't know which fruit, but something will be born. And in the same vein, we have absolute faith that out of the the match we strike, the fire we kindle will be, a fire will come about, a fire around the globe that warms our hearts. And, and then it is for us to tend this fire. So let us hold the intention for this global coherent consciousness grid to shine, shine through us and shine into and around the earth so that its high resonance facilitates beings of the highest light to join us here on Mother Earth. Um, and let us also hold the intention to feed the collective consciousness with this awareness that we're holding. For those who are familiar with some of the energy flow techniques that we use, let us do them with all our might. We can let the counter-rotating tetrahedral fields of light of the Merkaba create the non-physical light vibrations through their rotational inner friction. We can do this for ourselves individually and we could do it together as one for Mother Earth. Or we can let the toroidal flow happen through each individual and then together as one around the Earth. We can send out, transmit the transdimensional quadruple carrier wave form, that golden white light that holds the physical rainbow spectrum. And, and the spiritual spectrum of light. 
And in that way, we are connecting. All of us are connecting. And we are connecting with all our relations. Namaste. Only breath, not Christian or Jew or Muslim, not Hindu, Buddhist, Sufi or Zen, not any religion or cultural system. I am not from the East or the West, not out of the ocean or up from the ground, not natural or ethereal, not composed of elements at all. I do not exist. I am not an entity in this world or in the next, did not descend from Adam and Eve or any origin story. My place is the placeless, a trace of the traceless, neither body or soul. I belong to the beloved, have seen two worlds as one, and that one called to and no, first, lost, outer, inner, only death breath, breathing, human being. Namaste. Apa Vitraha, Pavitrova, Sarva Bashtan Gatopiva, Yasmaret Undari Kaksham, Sabhaya, Yantara Suchihi, Avanham, Narayanam. Padma Bhavam Vashistam Shaktim Chatat Putra Parasharam Cha Vyasam Shukam Gaudapadam Mahantam Govinda Yogindram Atasya Shishyam Sri Shankar Charyam Charam Atasya Padma Padam Cha Hastamalakam Cha Shishyam Tantrotakam Bartika Karamanyan Ashmad Guru Santata Manatoshmi Shuti Smriti Purananam Alayam Karuna Alayam Namami Bhagavat Padam Shankaram Loka Shankaram Shankaram Shankacharyam Keshavam Badarayanam Sutra Bhasya Krita Vande Bhagavatu Puna Punaha Yadvare Nikila Nilimpa Parishad Sidhim Vidhate Nisham Srimat Srila Sittam Jagat Guru Padam Natvat Matriptin Kataha Loka Gyana Payoda Patana Duram Sri Shankaram Sharmadam Brahmananda Sarasvitam Guru Varam Yayami Jyotir Mayam Avahanam Smarapayami Shri Guru Charana Kamalevio Namaha Asanam Samarapayami Shri Guru Charana Kamalevio Namaha Snaram Samarapayami Shri Guru Charana Kamalevio Namaha
वस्त्र सर्पयामी श्री गुरुचर कमलो कमले नम चंदन सर्पयामी श्री गुरुचर कमले नम अक्षत स्मरापयामी श्री गुरुचर कमले नम पुष्प सर्पयामी श्री गुरुचर कमले नम धूप स्मरापयामी श्री गुरुचर कमले नम दीपम सर्पयामी श्री गुरुचर कमले नम अक्ष्मय सर्पयामी श्री गुरुचर कमले कमले नम नवेद्यम सर्पयामी श्री गुरुचर कमले नम अक्ष्मय सर्पयामी श्री गुरुचर कमले नम तंबूल सर्पयामी श्री गुरुचर कमले नम श्रीपल सर्पयामी श्री गुरुचर कमले नम अरार्तिक्यम कपूर गौरम करुणावतारम संसार सरम भुजगेन्द्र हरम सदा वसत हृदय रविंदे बबम बवनी सहित नमा अरार्तिक्यम सर्पयामी श्री गुरुचर कमले नम अक्ष्मय सर्पयामी श्री गुरुचर कमले नम पुष्पाजलि गुरु ब्रह्मा गुरु विष्णु गुरुदेव महेश्वर परम ब्रह्मा तस्म श्री गुरव नम अखांद मंदलक व्या चाराचर तत्पम दरिष्ट तस्म श्री गुरव नम श्री ब्रह्मनंदम परम सुखद केवल ज्ञानमूर्ति विश्वति गजान सदृश तत्व दीलक्ष्यम एक विमलाचल सर्वाधी सक्षिभूत भावती तम त्रिगुण सहित सद्गुरु तम नमा अज्ञान अंदाश्या ज्ञान जान शलाकया चक्षुर उन्मील तस्मा श्री गुरु नम पुष्प जलि सर्पयामी श्री गुरुचर कमले नम लट इज नाउ सिट टुगेदर इन साइलेंट मेडिटेशन
we will now be led in three meditations flowing into each other, flowing from a personal grounding meditation into a meditation of the joining of all our energy fields and then onto an expansion into the cosmos with CTS and a vision of our new earth. Namaste. Let us all gather together now and bring our awareness into our heart space. Bring our consciousness down into our heart space. And think of something in your life where you felt the most unconditional love. And hold on to that feeling. It is so powerful and so strong that you wouldn't be able to explain it if someone asked you. And take a deep breath in, breathing in that beautiful unconditional love. Take a breath in. And also breathing that unconditional love out and allowing it to flow around the earth and in the earth. Another beautiful unconditional love, breath in. And again out. We'll just do one more beautiful unconditional love, breathing it in, feeling it flood through your entire body this time, seeing it as a pink mist going into all your cells, going into your DNA and flooding through your skin out into your energy field. So you're now sitting or lying in a bubble of unconditional love. And now as we bring our awareness back to our heart centers, we're going to bring our consciousness and the energy of our heart down through our bodies into our solar plexus, into your tummy, down into your sacral chakra, which is just below your belly button, and down into the base chakra, which is at the base of the spine. And down both legs, into the knees, down the shins, the calves, into the ankles, and down into the feet, and out through the bottoms of your feet, into your earth star chakra your energy center, which is about 12 centimeters below your feet, just placed nicely there on the earth. And now down through a central funnel from your earth star chakra, down, going down through the earth, the rocks, the stones, the crystals, and going right the way down into the center of the earth, into the earth's heart, and the earth's consciousness, blending your heart and your consciousness fully now with the earth. And through that central funnel, I want you to see a rooted system spreading out now like streams of light going all the way through the earth, connecting to the mother crystals that are in the earth these ancient crystalline beings. Connecting to the Earth's chakra system, the ley lines and the Earth's energy system. Connecting also to the new 5D crystalline grids, which lay within the Earth, around the Earth, and through each living thing on the Earth allowing your heart and your consciousness to blend fully with this, the new 5D Earth, a higher consciousness Earth. And now connecting to the beautiful ancient beings of the trees, allowing your consciousness to blend in to all the trees, these beautiful ancient beings that have been here for hundreds of years. 
and the plant kingdoms, the animal kingdoms and all the kingdoms of the earth. Blending your consciousness and your heart fully as you blend together. And now connecting through the dimensions to all the beautiful beings that live within the earth and on the earth. Who that we connect with daily, but often we do not realize. They are here living amongst us. And just connecting now and blending your energy on a mass through the earth and everything we have connected with and feeling your consciousness and your love blending and connecting deeply within all that we have mentioned. And now we're going to draw some of that energy, that beautiful energy that we've connected to, that healing energy, that powerful energy back through that rooted system, those streams of light and back into that central funnel. And now up through that central funnel into your earth star chakra and up further into the bottoms of your feet, filling the earth's energy in your feet and as the Earth's energy moves up through your body, it fills every single particle of you because you are one with the Earth. You are the same molecules. So allowing the Earth's energy now to come up through your ankles, your shins, into your knees, up your legs, into the base of your spine and up now into your sacral chakra, your tummy, and as it's blending up through your body, it's going into every single cell, every organ, coming up now into the heart and taking a beautiful deep breath of that unconditional love. As you know, you are fully connected and grounded into the earth, and the earth is also fully within you. just allowing for one moment feeling into your body as the earth's energy floods right the way through right up to the top of your head down to your fingertips and your toes blending her energy with your energy feeling it in your body as your energy is now anchored firmly within the Earth's heart and the Earth's consciousness. Namaste. Feeling this bond, being so firmly grounded to our beautiful Earth Mother, center once again in your heart. And take this energy in your heart and remember what we are doing. Fill it with your intent, our intent to be connected with each other, with the Earth, and with those others whom we wish to connect with who can help us on this journey. See your heart energy now extending out to connect to each other person here now. All the people engaged in this process now. See it like a beam connecting heart to heart, sharing your intent right around the world, people in Canada, United States, Germany, Australia, New Zealand, 
everybody here now can see now that there are hundreds and hundreds of these connections coming back into your heart. Feel the strength of this energy supporting you as it has returned a hundredfold. Feel the power of that as we build it together. And we can see this network surrounding the earth, forming a flower of life. Every point is connected to every other point. And by sharing the energies that we hold with our Earth Mother and our intent, it grows. See it glowing now, surrounding the Earth with a warm, loving glow as this network strengthens and expands. And now connect with all those people you know that do CE5 that may not be with us today or that have ever done CE5. Thousands and thousands more people connecting in and strengthening this network. The whole surface of our earth glowing like a beacon, showing our shared intent, our desire to connect, our desire to create this new loving world, inviting others to join us. As this network strengthens, connect it now to every other person on the earth, all of humanity. Connect from your heart to your family members, to your neighbors, to your fellow citizens, to every human on the planet. See and allow this heart-centered energy to touch everyone, bringing light and awareness to those who have yet to join us, but who are always connected to us. The whole of the earth now is sharing in this energy, connected through to our earth mother, connected to each other, and openly inviting connection from others who work with us. We can open our crown chakras and allow higher frequency energies to join us now from those beings who understand and observe what we are doing and who are here to help us. To see these threads of interconnection now glowing more strongly as they connect every single one of us. And feel the strength of that energy coming back into you a thousandfold. Realizing that this is the process by which we make these changes. Feel the warmth of this energy and contribute back into it. As we hold our awareness on this beautiful network and understand what it is doing and why we are doing it, We demonstrate with our beautiful, glowing, connected earth that we are one. Namaste.
as we sit here together in this beautiful energy, we turn our attention to our bodies. We feel them relax. We feel our shoulders completely relax. Feel your eyes begin to relax. Our arms and our legs at ease. And we gently turn our awareness to our third eye in the middle of our head between our eyebrows. We feel in consciousness a relaxation, a widening and a great expansion. Now we see ourselves through our consciousness directly above our bodies below. We are all going to join together now on a journey that we have all taken before and participate in work where we will recognize all of our CE5 friends around the world that have joined us many times before. For this journey today, we will use our Merkaba. A Merkaba, if you haven't used it before, imagine a tetrahedron, which is a three-sided pyramid with a base of three sides. Imagine it spinning in light form. And above it, a second tetrahedron upside down with its top pointing down towards the first tetrahedron. Imagine it spinning in an opposite direction and gently descending into the first tetrahedron. Both spinning incredibly fast now, we notice there is a calm serene space in the middle and our consciousness instantly finds ourselves there. We see the light form of the Merkaba spinning all about us while we are completely still and in a safe spot. Gently now, our Merkaba easily and effortlessly begins to rise above us. We reach a point where we can see all of the local land masses near us and stop. Maybe we see mountains, lakes, rivers, or prairies. Take a moment to visualize your exact spot on Gaia and place this picture firmly in consciousness. Now, effortlessly, 
but quickly our Merkaba rises further to the point where we can see our entire continent. Place this image firmly in consciousness. You can see your spot on your continent from this height. Now we rise in our Merkaba to the point where we can see all of the earth, the oceans and the continents. And we can see our spot on the planet below. From this point, we will expand outward into creation, into the cosmos. And we will introduce the light intention to see an extraterrestrial person, ship, or civilization. And when we do, we'll introduce ourselves by name as ambassadors from Earth and from a civilization in transition. And we invite them to join us or a simple prayer and meditation for our planet and her children. Then we turn and view our path back to earth. Where we meet in a high orbit visualizing our place on the planet below. Using the Merkaba, we can quickly and easily expand out and back many times. Let's take a few minutes and do this now.
and gently returning to our place in orbit now. We pause for a moment to gaze at what must be one of the most beautiful sights in creation. Gaia, a beautiful planet who is alive and has a consciousness of her own is about to give birth to a new consciousness. Our civilization has been based in a consciousness of separation. That consciousness breeds prejudice, hate, and war. We look over the last hundred years of our history and we see that Gaia is immensely burdened by that consciousness. It breeds technologies that are harmful not only to us, to our biosphere, but actually threaten all life on our planet. But we see also a change occurring. This change has occurred in individuals in the past, but now is beginning excitedly to change in mass numbers of people on our planet. It's a simple change, one from a consciousness based in separation to a new consciousness based in universal oneness. It's a consciousness in which we can feel and experience our oneness with all of creation. We also see around the Gaia a beautiful golden grid of energy. These are our CE5 friends and others that are making this shift in consciousness. They are the first to see the light of the new dawn approaching. And they are eagerly wanting to share this with all of our friends, family on earth. Recognizing this oneness and seeing this grid we allow our heart centers to fill with unconditional love and gratitude. And we ask that our extraterrestrial friends that are joining us, our relatives in the worlds of light gone before us, the celestial realm, and ultimately the great being we ask them to help us spread this energy of unconditional love acceptance and knowledge of new consciousness which will bear the fruit of new technologies that will lift the burden on gaia 
and transform our society into one that we cannot even begin to imagine at this point. Take that energy in your heart center and see it flowing down to Gaia now. See it circling the globe in its beautiful golden glow. See it infusing every person, every institution, every plant and mineral, completely infused with this new knowledge and this wonderful energy. Now, in our Merkabas, we gently descend back towards our spot on our continent, wherever we may be, back right to the place where we are. And we invite our extraterrestrial friends with love in our heart and oneness as our understanding to join us wherever we are and help spread this energy and this new realization for our planet. Namaste. Thank you.
Loga Samasta Supino Bavandu Loga Samasta Supino Bavandu Loka Samasta Sukinu Bavandu Om Shanti 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 Om Sri Krubuyo Namaha Loka Samasta Sukinu Bavantu Loka Samasta Sukinu Bavantu Loka Samasta Sukinu Bavantu Om Shanti 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 Om Sri Guru Bhyo Namaha Hare Om Loka Samasta Sukinu Bavantu Loka Samasta Sukinu Bavantu Loka Samasta Sukinu Bavantu Om Shanti 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 Om Sri Guru Bhyo Namaha Hare Namaste. I would like to take a moment to sit in gratitude. Gratitude for having been born, born into this circle. Gratitude for having been born at this time. Thank you to the ancestors, the ones without whom I wouldn't be here, we wouldn't be here. Thank you to having been born into this circle of light. this precious circle of light. Thank you for the trust. 
that was given me, us, for carrying this light, for the ancient ones have too carried this light. Some of them have led simple lives and some of them have led extraordinary lives. And yet all of them had their struggles. And yet all of them carried this light to pass on to the next generation. Thank you to the ones have done who have done this for eons. Thank you to the ones who will be doing this for eons. Thank you, ancestors, for taking me in. And thank you to the visitors from far away. Thank you for joining with us. Let us hold the intention for this global coherent consciousness grid as we are experiencing it right now. Let us hold that intention that it resonates and that it facilitates beings of the highest light to join us in this field. Please share your experiences in the comments. And as the ancient ones say, walk in a good way. Walk tall and powerful as you are meant to be for times and times to come. Namaste.